Hello, I'm Eamon Comiskey from the Glambia Milk Quality Team and we're here on Tully Nally Farm today in Castle Pollard in Westmead to talk about thermogerics. Over the last couple of years we would have encountered some thermogeric issues on this farm, especially during the summertime, where during follow-up visits where I would have found the issues were, especially within the claw bulb, when we split that claw bulb we were finding a biofilm, slippery type substance. Also within the receiver vessel in the, in the parallax. When we opened that up, we were finding the same substance within there. Despite all the best efforts, we struggled to rectify this until we made two significant changes, which we can speak about in the dairy. Okay, so the first issue we would have encountered that was stopping us from controlling thermogenic levels in this farm was the availability of sufficient levels of hot water. This farm was operating with one electric water heater, which is serving both the bulk tank and the plant. This meant that on the days that the bulk tank was washed, there was not enough hot water to wash the plant. So in essence, the plant was only being hot washed once every second day. On this level, we recommended to the farmer that he install a gas hot water system. This system allows for water to be heated to 85 degrees on demand, which provides flexibility for washing both the tank and the plant when needed. So the next issue we would have encountered in this farm was detergent dosing and getting the required level of detergent into the wash solution in a timely fashion. As you would have seen in a previous video on the Dairy Focus podcast, episode 48, my colleague Tom Phelan showed how to measure a wash truck to determine exactly how much water is in the truck. Another area that needs to be checked regularly is your bulk tank to ensure that it is washing correctly. What happens sometimes is the spray balls or jetters can become blocked or partially blocked, which will affect the spray pattern around the tank during the wash. This will result in some areas of the tank not being washed correctly and over time, this will result in a thermogenic issue or even a TBC issue. Okay, so some other issues we would encounter when we're doing thermogenic follow-ups on the farm will be rubber wire perishing and cracking. So milk liners need to be changed every 2,000 milkings or every six months, whichever comes first. Long rubber tubes and any other rubber wire around the plant needs to be changed every two years and checked regularly for any perishing or cracking. Another issue which we'd encounter is dirty plate coolers. While this is uncommon, it still happens. So it's very much recommended that a clean filter sock is in for every wash. Without this in place, any particles that come up through the plant during the wash can lodge and stick in the plate cooler. The only way to remedy this is to split your plate cooler. And this is a difficult process. When checking your bulk tank, if you're not 100% sure that it is clean and you need a second opinion, ring your local milk quality manager and arrange a visit to have it checked.